Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with the upper room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is August 26th, 2021 Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is Only Trying to Help. The scripture is from Romans chapter 8, verses 28 through 39. We know that all things work together for good, for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. For those whom He foreknew, He also predestined to be confirmed conformed to the image of His Son in order that he might be the firstborn within a large family. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies, who is to condemn. It is Christ Jesus who died, yes, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us, who will separate us from the love of Christ, will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword, as it is written, for your sake, we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquered, conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Today's story is from Chuck, who lives in misery. On a recent stay at my sister-in-law's house in Nebraska, I noticed a bird, a baby robin, that had fallen into a basement window wall. The wall was too deep for the bird to free itself, and I soon realized that I would have to rescue it. I moved quickly to scoop the bird from the window wall. But when I stopped, stooped down beside it, it began to chirp widely in fear. Soon I was bombarded by the baby robin's family, who had been watching from a nearby tree. After rescu rescuing the robin, I realized that the small bird had perceived my best intentions as a desire to harm it. Perhaps if the robin had known I was trying to help her, it would have it would not have so vehemently resisted. Sometimes we are like that baby bird. We find ourselves in some predicament, often of our own making. But we don't recognize, recognize God's power 
to rescue us. May our faith remind us that God is for us, not against us, and that God cares for us far more deeply than we can imagine. When we cry out to God in prayer, God can rescue us from our deepest fear and despair. As he experienced, we sometimes feel that we are harmed by God. Whenever we feel tragedies, whenever we have tragedies, we face that situation, kinds of the accident or uh, serious, serious illness. We say, why God? Why me, God? However, in many times, it is not allowed by God. Actually, it is not given by God. We made it our situations. God gave us, God gives us the healthy body. However, we sometimes make worse, make our body worse. Not exercising, not eat health food, not eating healthy food. I mean, sometimes we try to blame, we want to blame God, even though we made mistake. And when God want, when God helps us, we, we sometimes want to say, why it is too slow? Why you are too slow to come to me? Why do you do this in that way or this way? But you know what? God knows everything. And God knows the best way to rescue us. God won't help us because God loves us and God cares for us all the time. That is God. God's intention is always good. God loves us. And God gave us His Son. He didn't preserve his son or withhold his son but he gave his son gave up his son for us Jesus Christ died for us it was God's intention to save us to help us to rescue us dear church family and friend we are in God's hands. Sometimes we, we go out of God's hands and we go, we, I mean, we put ourselves in danger by doing something wrong. But still, God is with us and God is caring for us and God wants us to trust in God. Sometimes it takes time for God to rescue us because God knows the best timing and best way so He can do. He saves us in His ways and in His time. Church family and friends, I hope you and I trust in God more and don't misunderstand, misinterpret God's intention as hurting us or harming us because God always loves us and God always cares for us. God always wants us to be with God. He is holding your hands and get you close to God. God is holding you with your arms, with His arms. Because God loves us. Let's trust in God. And let's follow the process of God. Trusting in God. So, we will see.
God's salvation and God's rest. Hope. I hope you and I remind of God's heart toward us. Love, grace, mercy. That is God's intention. That is what God wants us to have. Let's have Let's trust in God more and more. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving and caring for us. Forgive us when we resist your help. Lord, sometimes we, 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 we misunderstood, mis misunderstand you. Sometimes we misinterpret you your intention because of the situation the situations that we face it was too hard for us too difficult to, uh, for us so we think in that ways however please remind remind us of your heart your love your grace your care, your provision. And let us follow you. And let us trust in you more and more. It is not easy to be still and ask your help. It is not easy to endure that time, the long time sometimes, the painful time sometimes. However, when we have faith, when we trust in you, we could, we can endure all this. So please be with us and help us. Please, we need your help and grace only. Please bless us and hold us in your arms. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and don't forget, God's intention toward you is always good because God is good and God loves us. Have a good day. Bye-bye.